Top 5 Best Martial Artists in History Number 5. Chuck Norris Carlos Ray Norris born March 10, 1940 is an American martial artist, actor, film producer, and screenwriter. After serving in the United States Air Force, he began his rise to fame as a martial artist who won many championships, and has since founded his own school of fighting, Chun Kuk Du. Norris appeared in a number of action films, such as Way of the Dragon, in which he starred alongside Bruce Lee, Good Guys Wear Black, The Octagon, Lone Wolf McQuaid, Code of Silence, The Missing in Action Trilogy, The Delta Force and many more. He was the Cannon Group's leading star in the 1980s. Number 4. Anderson Silva Anderson de Silva born April 14, 1975, is a Brazilian mixed martial artist and former UFC middleweight champion. Silva held the longest title streak in UFC history, which ended in 2013 after 2,457 days, with 16 consecutive wins and 10 title defenses. He has 13 post-fight bonuses, the second most in UFC history. UFC President Dana White and several mixed martial arts publications have called Silva the greatest mixed martial artist of all time. He is currently ranked the contender in official UFC middleweight rankings. Number 3. Jet Li. Li Lianjie born April 26, 1963 better known by his stage name Jet Li, is a Chinese film actor, film producer, martial artist, and retired Wuxia champion who was born in Beijing. He is a naturalized Singaporean citizen. After three years of training with Wu Bin, Li won his first national championship for the Beijing Wuxia team. After retiring from Wuxia at age 19, he went on to win great acclaim in China as an actor making his debut with the film Shaolin Temple, 1982. He went on to star in many critically acclaimed martial arts epic films, most notably as the lead in director Zhang Yumu's 2002 hero, Fist of Legend which is the best acclaimed Lee movie by Rotten Tomatoes, and the Once Upon a Time in China series, in which he portrayed folk hero Wang Fei Hung. Lee's first role in a non-Chinese film was as a villain in Lethal Weapon 4, 1998, and his first leading role in a Hollywood film was as Han Singh in Romeo Must Die, 2000. He has gone on to star in many action films, including in French cinema with Luc Besson Kiss of the Dragon and Unleashed. He CO starred in The One, 2001, The Forbidden Kingdom, 2008, with Jackie Chan, all three of the Expendables films with Sylvester Stallone, and as the title character villain in The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, 2008. Number 2. Jackie Chan. Chan Kong Sang, born April 7, 1954, known professionally as Jackie Chan, is a Hong Kong martial artist, actor, film director, producer, stuntman, and singer. In his movies, he is known for his acrobatic fighting style, comic timing, use of improvised weapons, and innovative stunts, which he typically performs himself. He has trained in Kung Fu and Hapkido. He has been acting since the 1960s and has appeared in over 150 films. Chan has received stars on the Hong Kong Avenue of Stars, and the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He has been referenced in various pop songs, cartoons, and video games. He is an operatically trained vocalist and is also a cantopop and mandopop star, having released a number of albums and sung many of the theme songs for the films in which he has starred. He is also a notable philanthropist. In 2015, Forbes magazine estimated his net worth to be $350 million. Number 1. Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee was a Hong Kong and American actor, film director, martial artist, martial arts instructor, philosopher, and founder of the martial art Jeet Kune Do one of the Wushu or Kung Fu styles. Lee was the son of Cantonese opera star Lee Hoi Chen. He is widely considered by commentators, critics, media, and other martial artists to be one of the most influential martial artists of all time. He is noted for his roles in five feature-length films, Low Ways the Big Boss, 1971, and Fist of Fury, 1972, 
Golden Harvest's Way of the Dragon, 1972, directed and written by Lee, Golden Harvest and Warner Brothers Enter the Dragon, 1973, Golden Harvest's Way of the Dragon, 1972, directed and written by Lee, Golden Harvest and Warner Brothers Enter the Dragon, 1973, and The Game of Death, 1978, both directed by Robert Klaus. Lee became an iconic figure known throughout the world, particularly among the Chinese, as he portrayed Chinese nationalism in his films. He trained in the art of Wing Chun and later combined his other influences from various sources, in the spirit of his personal martial arts philosophy, which he dubbed Jeet Kune Do, the way of the intercepting fist. Lee held dual nationality in Hong Kong and the US 14 he died in Kowloon Tong on July 20th.